picking select teams. Yeah. It's good. Thanks, Brad. All right. Well, there is no disputing that KISS was one of the hottest concerts in Edmonton in 1997, but for some fans, waiting for them to come back, just a little too much. Fortunately, there is sort of a next best thing available, right, Graham? Yeah. I saw this band, or I saw KISS, that's the band I was yeah, talking about. Yeah, the big band. The big band last year. I'll tell you, this band at Reds last night, mm -hmm. pretty close. I don't know. That's my opinion. You know, uh, it wasn't KISS, of course. It was a tribute band called Black Diamond, and these guys have everything down from the music to the makeup to the fire. If you couldn't make the show last night, here's a look. The ultimate tribute to Kiss. You are the best, you got the best, the hottest band in the land. Kiss! The sign doesn't say Black Diamond, it says Kiss. We're here to recreate the experience that you have because we go to a Kiss concert. So if you don't get to go that often, I don't think you can get that close. So we're the next one. best thing. You do. You got the credit card and have a play. My name is the take you far. You got the hotel and bad clothes and a town and they take the town. Bitch! You got me! You got me! You know, when Kiss had the makeup off, we were, that's when we started touring really heavily. And they started hearing reports back that fans were coming out to the show in droves. Old album sales were going through the roof as soon as we leave town. So they thought, hey, you know what? I think these guys are onto something. Who wouldn't want to dress up like this, get away, with, get away with their fantasies, have a good time, play rock and roll, shake their behind, and make a lot of people happy? <laughs> yeah, oh, Black Diamond, based in Vancouver. There's two members from Edmonton. They say they'll be back to play another gig here in a few months. So if you missed them, there you go. Uh, a few new movies open in Edmonton today. Probably